All this week on Dateline School has been taking a look at the third grade reading law that really takes full implementation starting next school year. And to tell us more about this, my special guest is Brenda Tenniswood. She's the Director of General Education here at St. Clair County Recent. And Brenda, like with any laws, the, the intent really isn't just to make sure kids are reading by third grade level. There's got to be more beyond third grade. What, what kind of expectations are there? A couple. First, I think the law, the reason the law targeted third grade is because the research is so compelling about this window in which students learn to read versus reading to learn. And that shift is usually between third and fourth grade. Um, and the research also shows that once uh, students are past third grade, it's a lot harder to kind of, you know, remediate and fix any of those gaps that, that students might have. But beyond that, the expectation is that students continue to be proficient. This isn't just K-3. Mm -hmm. We want our, our, our students to continue to love to read, to read to learn, um, and to continue to be proficient throughout their scholastic and, and life. I mean, this really is a, a law that's intended to have life-altering implications. We're just getting into fall and, you know, and all of that kind of stuff, but right now is really we're getting in close to that parent-teacher conference time. Is this something that would be good for those elementary parents to bring up to their teachers when they talk about their kids at, at conferences? Absolutely. Like that is, I think, one of the most critical things to bring up. Um, certainly you want to ask questions like, how is my child interacting with other children? Because that's a critical part of learning. Like, what's that social sphere looking like? But this is the time of year when our teachers are administering those initial assessments. So where are my child's strengths? Where are they really doing well? Are there any areas that they're struggling with? Um, and certainly if you are, you are notified that your child uh, is in need of an individual reading improvement plan, absolutely ask lots of questions. How, how is my child identified? Again, where are their strengths and, and weaknesses? How can I help? You know, where are the resources? What supports can you have for me as a parent to help my child? And my guess is as a parent, model this behavior at home, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, and you can, it doesn't have to be like this really academic formal. It's when you're writing the grocery list, you know, make sure your kids see you writing the grocery list and, and stretching out those, those sounds. If you're on your iPad reading, talking to your child about what you're reading. So again, it's being that, that model of what literacy looks like. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington. Dateline Schools is a production of St. Clair County Resa.